Hello unlimited friends. My topic today is patience. Patience is not only unnecessary, it is actually harmful. And I'm going to show you using a diagram based on the law of attraction why I say what I say. So let's get started. First of all, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Zara Mahoon from zmahoon.com and on this channel, we discuss everything that has to do with our lives based on the law of attraction with the objective of creating an unlimited life. So, why do I say what I say? Because think about it. When you're patient about something, that actually means that you want it to be different from the way it is. And wanting something to be different from the way it is, is birthing a desire, which is neither wrong nor right. Desire, in fact, we are alive because we are birthing desires all the time. Giving birth to a desire is a good thing. However, what patience means is, I have given birth to this desire and now I'm going to look at it with patience until it comes forth. But that's attachment, you see. So patience is actually not a virtue at all because patience means I am attached to the outcome and I'm going to keep looking at my goal. I'm going to be wanting this thing to change. And until it does, all I'm going to do is not throw a tantrum about it. That's all. Patience means attachment without throwing a tantrum. That's it. But whether you throw a tantrum or not doesn't matter. If you have attachment, you're pushing that thing that you want away from you. So you see, patience is not only counterproductive, it is harmful because attachment is something that keeps us from the things that we want. And in all our discussions about the law of attraction, attachment is the one thing that we want to give up. So instead of patience, what we want is we want to give whatever goal we've got over to the universe. And then it is our job to forget about it. We don't want patience. We want to be able to give whatever it is we desire over to the universe to fulfill. It's like placing an order and wanting the universe to deliver that order. But imagine calling a pizza um, store and then parking your car outside this pizza shop. And you call the pizza shop and you say, hi, can you prepare a pizza for me? And it with this topping and this topping and this topping and this topping. Uh, yes, thank you. And I would like it delivered to my house. But then you are parked right outside the store and you watch them prepare the pizza. And then you follow the guy, the delivery guy, all the way to your house. How is that productive? That's like trying to control the process. Oh, I have to make sure that when my order is placed, that they do what I told them to do. So I'm just going to keep an eye on them. And I'm going to make sure that that delivery person brings it straight to my house and doesn't make any detours. See, that's what it means to be patient. Patience means I'm watching you. And if you're watching, you're not giving up control. In fact, it's the opposite. You are still wanting control. So let me draw a diagram to explain to you what happens when you think you're being patient. Let's revisit the emotional scale because the emotional scale is the basis of law of attraction. Whatever we manifest is based on the emotional vibration that we send out into the universe. So what is patience? Patience means I've asked for something and now I am wondering whether or not it will happen. So basically, there's some doubt there. 
and doubt and worry are very similar vibrations. They are right at the middle of the emotional scale. So if you are doubting, because that's really what patience is, is I'm just, I'm going to wait till it happens. But in the meantime, I'm not going to take my eyes off the prize, right? Basically, it sounds like it's a positive thing because what you're saying is I'm willing to wait. So, and, and the reason this is interesting, if I can spell wait, the reason this is interesting is because we think waiting is positive. But when you're aligned, when you're over here, when you're at a 10, there's no waiting involved at all. You don't have to wait because you manifest almost right away. It's just the, a buffer of time and then you manifest. So manifesting is easy. Over here, there's hardly any time. Time, it takes longer to manifest over here. But over here, you hit the jackpot really quickly. So patience actually extends the amount of time that things take in order to happen. And when you're up over here, when you're aligned, that doesn't take any time at all. The other thing is, what patience mean it means is, I'm not giving up. But when you're aligned, you're not giving up either. You see, you're not giving up on the desire. What you're giving up on is asking the question, when? So this is a really important distinction. The question, when? When is this thing going to happen? That's what patience is. And whenever you ask these questions, when, why, how, who, that brings you down the emotional scale because everything is really two things, the having of it and the not having of it. So here on this side of the emotional scale is a vibration of lack. And on the top part of the emotional scale is the vibration of having. So this is the vibration of having. And we all understand that the best things happen for us when we are aligned. That's when we get the prize because the prize is lined up with the vibration of love, of joy, not a vibration of doubt or worry. Because when you ask these questions, when, who, how, where, basically, what you're doing is you're introducing doubt because it's only when you doubt that you ask these questions. When you don't doubt that something's going to happen, you don't ask those questions. It's a given. That's what it means when, 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 you know, when Jesus said, ask and it is given. Knock and it shall be open. Well, that's what it means is you don't need to question. When you question something, Questioning something is a very different vibration from being satisfied. So satisfaction is right up here. It's just below joy. And a vibration of satisfaction is a really good place to be because when you're satisfied, there's no doubt in your vibration. You're not asking when will this happen? How will it happen? Who's going to help me to make it happen? Basically, you're not trying to make anything happen. I know a lot of relationships that, you know, someone is patient. I'm just going to be patient. I'm, I want this person to change the way they behave. I don't like the things that they do. And I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to be patient and they'll, they'll come around in the end. Well, what that means is I'm constantly wanting you to change. And that is not something that makes you feel good. If you constantly want things to be different from the way they are, that doesn't feel good. 
So you have to give birth to the desire and then just let it be. And you move on and be satisfied where you are. That's what all mindfulness is about. Mindfulness means I'm going to be here in my now with appreciation. Not with dissatisfaction. Think about it. Patience has dissatisfaction in it. It's not a vibration of complete satisfaction. Patience means I'm not happy, but I'm putting up with it. I am not happy with this situation, but I'm putting up with it. Now, putting up with something, is that a vibration of joy? Absolutely not. Putting up with something, is that a vibration of satisfaction? Let's take an example. Let's take the example of a relationship. I complain that he never texts me, but I'm patient because I want him to change and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he will. That's patience, but that's not a pure vibration. I'm hoping that he will change. So I'm always looking for that change. Has it happened today? Not today. Is it going to happen tomorrow? Maybe. And then tomorrow comes and now you're looking for the change again. Has it changed? Not yet. So it makes you focus on the absence of the thing that you want, right? Patience is about focusing on the absence of what you want. So you're actually doing two things that are going to pull you apart. They're going to create stress and worry in your life. And what you're doing is you are activating or energizing both the having and the absence of the thing that you want. I want him to text me. I want more texts from him. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel that we are connected to each other. But he isn't doing it. He didn't look at that. He didn't do it again today. See? So now I'm giving my thought energy and wherever energy flows, you got it, right? Wherever attention goes, energy flows and that's what we activate. Let me explain with an analogy. This is really meaningful to me because I've realized that all the laws of physics apply to our thought energy because thought energy is a form of matter. Matter changes form. It never goes away. So think about it this way. If there was a stationary object and I pushed it, I would be transferring my energy to it, which would make it go forward. So here I am and I'm thinking I want more text from my partner or my boyfriend or whoever, my the person I have a relationship with. And as I think about it, I am giving it my energy, so I'm pushing it into my future. And now here I am thinking about the fact that it hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened today, has, didn't happen yesterday. So I'm giving the absence of it my energy as well, and I'm pushing the absence of it into the future as well. So I'm pushing both the having and the not having into the future. That's what patience does. And it's the equivalent of worry and doubt. And both of those are extremely negative vibrations. So you see, patience is absolutely not a virtue. But I'll tell you what is a virtue. What is a virtue is to give birth to a desire, energize the having of it and push that into the future. And now you go, go about your day without paying any attention to this, without asking those questions, when, how, where, who. Just leave that all up to the universe and you go about your day without any patience because you only need patience if you're asking those questions. Because here's, here's the dialogue that happens. I want this and it hasn't happened. Who's going to bring it? I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know who's going to bring it. I don't know when it's going to happen. I have to have the answers to those questions. That's, I'm waiting to get the answers to those questions. So that's keeping me in the vibration of the question. And as Abraham says, the vibration of the question is very different from the vibration of the answer. So if you stay in the question asking mode, 
That's what patience is. You're staying in the asking mode and you're not switching over to the allowing mode. As soon as you take your mind off, so patience, the next step after patience in for a lot of people is giving up. So people are patient and patient and they wait and they wait and then after a while they give up. They say, that's it. I've been patient so long and now I can't be patient anymore. So I'm just going to give up. And soon as they give up, that thing that they want manifests. And it manifests because now they're not in the vibration of the question anymore. They gave up asking the question and the universe delivered. But what they tell people, what they say, what they communicate is, yes, you see, I was patient for so many years and my patience bore fruit. But that's not how it works. I hope you get it now. Patience is not a virtue. Giving up is the main deal. So why wait a number of years to give up? Why not just give birth to the desire and give up? Isn't that so much easier? Because soon as you give up, now the universe has control. As long as you stay in the asking mode, you are wanting to control the situation and you cannot possibly have control over it because you don't have access to the resources of the universe. So just give up, give up and go about your business and let the universe deliver. So folks, I hope that that was useful information for you. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. And if you did, please leave me um, a comment below to let me know. And if you have any questions, do share them. And I would love to respond before you leave. Remember, to subscribe and like the video. And if you know someone who would benefit from this information, please do share it. I would love for you to come back. So don't forget to click on that notification bell so that I can send you an invitation to my next video. Bye for now.